All right, June 20th, 2013. Floyd Shaw, just giving you an update on the project I'm working on. It's like the third time I've tried to shoot it, it keeps shutting off, but anyway, here we go. So the old barn door for the bathroom, we redid, still has the old hinges. Got some little cute doilies on there, got the old antique handles on it. It's pretty cool. Slide shut, the slides open. Bam, a little hard on it. This is the ceramic tile we put in, and it, did, it turned out fantastic. This stuff actually looks uh, just like real hardwood flooring. And people don't believe it's a ceramic tile, but it is definitely ceramic tile. Flooring altogether, subfloor, all that stuff is about two and three eighths inch thick with the tile on it, which is what it, it really needs to be on a wooden floor. It's all been jacked up and supported under there. The bathroom, the pedestal sink I put in with this real cute little faucet. It's antique looking. Pours out this little... It's really cool. Uh, vanity. Hi me. Vanity fixture. There's that corner cabinet. I put in, I built and put in. It's all painted now. Here's the shelf. It's all painted up pretty. Everything's looking good. Toilet's in. Bam, around here, you remember the shower and stuff I built? This piece of stone I cut to fit in here for the shelf. All the tile work. It's beautiful, I think. So bish. Shower head. I put all, built all the plumbing in this. I completely tore this out and replumbed everything. Like I said, I moved the toilet from over here to over here, sink from there to there. So there's a cast iron claw tub that was sitting here. Um, just try to use, uh, utilize every inch of space and make it as convenient with the real well anchored handrails. That's to help pull you up in a sitting position. It's getting in and out. Real cute. Knobs for the inside. Beautiful. This beautiful, beautiful flooring. I mean, this stuff has turned out amazing. Looks great. I'm going to clean it still. Got a lot of cleanup left to do. Zach's doing all the painting. He's about ready to start the walls and stuff. And he's going to refinish these bookcases that actually will be his CDs and art supplies and stuff. It's like a little art area right, right here. But uh, yeah, I built this one. These are the two windows I put in. I completely framed all that, reframed all this in, boxed all this in myself. Built this window sills and ledge and everything on the inside and out. Trimmed it all out. Yada yada, looks good. Uh, took these old windows and redid them to match. Looks pretty good. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. It's still the old door. It's gonna get painted. Wait. Shh. Get out of here, cat. Just finished this uh, red oak threshold. Added it in. Perfect fit. Beautiful. This is the door we put in. Casey and all. So, uh, gotta get the doorknobs on it once it gets painted, which will be just very soon. This is the entertainment or the media center I was telling you I was gonna build. So, we're, uh, these are about 14, the top ones are a little over 14 inches high, or 12 inches deep, and close to almost two feet wide each. The turntable, equalizer, and CD players all stacked right in here. Then he put his favorite albums in these little pockets here. CDs will go up here. That little pocket is set out. The back of it is. So it makes it not quite as deep. Uh, boxed in the tops up here. Make them look really cool. This is all mostly reclaimed wood. We've just finished wood filler and all the nail holes and stuff and screws and sanding all that down. It's getting fixing to get taped off and painted. It's beautiful though. I think. Turned out really good. I mean, he put his from ABBA all the way down there to Zappa, or wherever it was Zappa. He's got plenty of place for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of albums. It's going to be cool. And this is a speaker wires that are piped throughout the house and will tie into the unit when it's ready. We get new plugs and plates and all that once all this is all painted. Beautiful. Here is a closet, closed closet I built. It's got a really nice heavy duty shelf up top. Uh, it's got these 
this is an EMT, one inch EMT electrical conduit. So it's very rigid. Have it securely mounted inside these. And we used two by sixes here. Drilled the holes so you have plenty of room for the top of the hanger to go over the top of the rack. Okay. But this is uh, special because this side here is split level. You have your shirts, pants, long dresses and long coats on this side. And we've got it all set in a 2x4 foot and screwed out. And this half inch plywood, which I used a really high quality plywood. So it'll look really good when it's painted. And we got that set down in a notch in there and that board is anchored into this very hard ceramic tile. This uh, paint's got to get finished all in here. Gotta put the fixture on. But yeah, this is the media center. And that's pretty much an update on the project. We are nearing the end of this phase. We got to put a door over here and a door over here still, which we have, but we're going to be doing work in the kitchen area next. We're going to be traveling back and forth out of here so much I don't want to put the door on yet. But it's ready to go. Uh, give Zach a few days to get all this stuff painted and ready to... I'll give you an update when we move into the kitchen area. This is it so far. Peace out, guys. Thank you. Bye.